guys welcome back to my channel so I have removed almost all of the gel from my nails and we are going to try Beatles builder gel now I have never used their builder gel looks pretty nice and I got the color D008 we're prepping my nails first um, again so I have removed all of the gel now the problem is I have a mixture of hard gel and soft gel so you can kind of see right there I have all this hard gel and I filed it down to the very bottom as I can I have a little bit of hard gel in the middle I have some here and I think I got most of it off here and then I have some along there. So you'll see, I also probably have damage to my nails, I won't lie, but most of the whiter flakes are actually where the gel and the natural plate is. So you can see just a little bit in there. So I'm going to take this little cuticle, I'm gonna have it on reverse first. So I am starting it in reverse and I'm getting anything off the nail plate that is still stuck. So the only thing I have actually removed is my gel. So I haven't prepped this at all. So now we get to do all that. And I'm kind of doing a lazy prep. I'm not gonna lie, but it's okay. Switching it to forward. Now I wanna show you why it is important to do both forward and reverse when doing your cuticle area. So see how much we have it lifted off of the nail plate. So when we take our um, sanding band ever so slightly in here, and you don't necessarily have to use a sanding band, you can do it all by hand, but by taking that cuticle off now we can just etch the nail plate and we have all that room in there so when our nails do grow out and these kind of come back down you will have a longer lasting manicure just gonna kind of dust it off here no joke could not find my fine sanding bands so i'm going to prep it with a file which more than likely you guys would also be prepping with a file because I feel like people who are brand new to Builder Gel do not have an e-file. So I am just removing the shine. I am on the finer side of my file. And you can see I'm concentrating most of the etching on that new growth. So just up and down. Okay. And I like to use the corners to really get in there to make sure that I have removed the shine. I'm taking a lint-free wipe and I'm going to wipe any of that dust off my nail. And if you notice, I'm taking my nail and getting inside those little crevices. And now you're really gonna be able to see the difference in 
where I have some of that gel left over. I'm going to start off with Young Nails Protein Bond. This stuff is my jam. And since it is a fresh set, I am putting it all over the nail. On the back of the Builder Gel bottle, it says apply a base coat and cure. So after you've prepped your nails, added a primer, you wanna come in with a base coat. Now, I feel like a lot of people skip that and just assume that this is something that you can go directly onto your nails with. That is not the case. You need to prep and at least, if you skip the primer, have a base coat, per usual. Gelish foundation. I have one coming. This one is on its last leg. I mean, we are, we're almost to the end here. Okay, so what I like to do is apply most of it on the nail. And now I'm going to kind of rock it back and scrub it in. Because you have to think, this is what is actually adhering to your nail. So from here on out, gel is going to stick to gel. But this is the gel that is sticking to your nails. Gave that a nice flash cure. Again, coming in. And applying the base coat and if you notice I'm still scrubbing that bad boy in and what I do like about this gel is it is a soak off the problem is I am so low on this guy that obviously when I'm taking off my nails because hard gel is not something you can soak off only soft gel you can soak off so think of like a gel polish is usually a soft gel now they do have soft gel builders and I should check to see if this is a soft gel builder this next thing is completely optional I like to build out my nails I do not like short nails I had chopped them all off specifically for this video. So we are going to build them back out. And if you notice, I cut the form and I cut the form to relieve stress so I can build out the nail. So you can see we are super flat to the nail form like so. I'm gonna have this kind of in shot so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So I pretty much wiped off one side and I kind of have a bead on the other side. Since first I'm going to build out a little almond shape. If you've been with me, I like almond. Again, this is personal preference. If you don't want to build anything out, feel free to skip this step. Grab your pinching tool and we are just going to slightly give it a pinch. It's mostly on the second application that we will essentially care about that pinch. So I'm going to finish curing that going to wipe this off. Now, if you did not put a ton of that gel to your free edge over your natural nail, you have potential to knock it off right now. I think I did okay, but we'll see. So I'm just giving it a slight shape here. I'm taking my slip layer. So a slip layer is a very thin layer of builder gel. 
And if you notice, I put most of it down on the center and I hardly have any on my brush. And then I kind of just let my brush fan out. Come down the side and see how the brush is fanning. And I always pull to the middle. Pushing back to that cuticle area. Okay, so what I wanna show you here, if you do not like your cuticle area, I don't mind mine. Mine is fine how it kind of is, but take a thin brush and just drag it around the area you need to improve because if you improve it here on this step, then when you go in with your larger bead, you are going to have less of a hassle. So again, I'm letting the end kind of pull up. So I have the gel coming down, place it in that back third. I'm gonna walk it left and right. Okay, walking it down the nail. I'm going to flip it upside down. For me, that is the biggest factor in not getting it to run into your cuticles. We have to apply more gel for our apex, not too much more, but enough to warrant me flipping my nail upside down so it's not going to run. So you can see we're missing that chunk. Okay. Again, starting, oh, there we go, starting in that back, coming down the side here, and connecting them, flipping it back over because I do see the gel running. Take your striping brush or whatever brush you're using if you need some assistance. Because there's a little bald spot for me down here. And down the side here. And then I'm flipping back upside down. So for me, I like to play with the gel, meaning I like to get it in the position now. So instead of doing extra filing, I like to flip upright, take a look, flip back down, let it come back, flip back up, take a look at it, and so forth. So just kind of keep doing that until you find the finish you like. I also want to point out, which I think is not really talked about in videos like this, is that when you are going from a liquid so this is a liquid that's now a solid. That's gonna get hot. So my trick, since my light is heat activated or motion activated, so I'll put it down for it to activate, lift it back up, put it down, back up, down, back up, over and over again until I can feel like I can handle that heat. If you have a ton of gel on, I recommend putting it in taking your nail out and having it upside down, putting it back in, taking it upside down. So like if you're building a long like stiletto, that's what I would recommend doing for that. Cutting my forms, putting the two pieces together, coming up under the nail here and then pinching towards the bottom, kind of just making sure I have that in right. Again, we're not building a huge extension, so 
Unfortunately though, this one needs a little bit more help and I'm gonna show you how I go about doing that. So this side of that nail was kind of off. So you see, I'm kind of just building it down a little bit more. And then I'm gonna fade that down for that reason, because again, we have that part. Coming in with my pinch, just wiping that off ever so slightly. I like to bring my sides up, and that's why I always overbuild them. So you'll see, now we are straight out with my natural nail. Again, on this side, perfect. And now we will come in and almond that bad boy. Wipe off any extras. Going to lay you down for this part. So I'm coming in with my slip layer. And I have a very deep sidewall grabbing a little bit of gel and I am going to fix those. Take our bigger bead, let it run down your brush like so. Back third, and then walk it down Whoop. a little bit of a touchy touch there. And I need a little bit more on this edge because of that divot there. So again, like I said, bring it back. Clean off that edge. Clean off your nail that you used or tool. All right, cured it in place. Again, I just like to take off that little guy and we're gonna repeat. We're gonna repeat on all these guys. So I went ahead and gave it a quick buff and file. And now we're gonna add some gel polish. I got these in from Madame Glam and this one is just screaming my name. Like I literally can't stop staring at it. Again, starting off with a super thin layer, just like how we do 
any other gel polish design. Super thin. immediately took off the design, botched them just a little bit, but you know, it's okay and I'm much happier with this. There's still gel polish all up in here because, you know, we, it's fine. Guys, the end result is still good, Eesh. but the builder gel still, 10 out of 10. Um, me and my crappy designs right now, that's what I get for the first video back from vacation. Just, we're here. It's fine. So, much better without the design, in my opinion, even though it's still all, it's fine. Okay, thanks guys. So I will make sure to link this below. I just got it off Amazon. Still super thin, which is what you want. Plenty of give. So overall, I'm super happy with it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.